Hey there, friends! Are you ready for today's really big question for today? Our question today is, who was the meekest man to ever live? Was it Solomon, Saul, Jonah, or Moses? Hmm, that looks a little tough, but I'm sure we'll get it as we listen through another lesson through God's Word. Let's dive in. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 let's sing Jesus, and every day children's way. Hey there, friends. It's hump day, which means we're in the middle of the week. I hope you're having a blessed week, friends, and I hope that you're working on your Bible superpowers that God has richly blessed you with. And I hope you figured them out and you've been working really, really hard, not so much fighting crime at night, but maybe getting some sleep at nighttime. Now, all this week, since we're talking about our Bible superpowers, I hope that yesterday you went to the book to start your training through God's Word. And you know what? Today, we're actually going to talk about a certain superpower that God has given everyone, but not everybody trains with this superpower. You know, in the Bible, there's this word that we read that's called meekness. As a matter of fact, the word meekness is almost like the word humility or one who is humble. And really, meekness is someone who is willing to submit to someone else. And amongst all this chaos going around, these sad things and angry things that might bother us, being meek means that you know how to handle all of that. You know, the Bible would say that Moses was the meekest man to ever live. Now, that was a long, long time ago, but it makes me wonder if we could be like Moses. You know, Moses led the children of Israel. There were over 600,000 of them that the Bible talks about, and there were probably millions of them or a million more of them as well. You know, Moses had to know how to lead those people. He had to know how to be able to handle their problems when they brought them to him. And he had to be able to handle situations where maybe he needed to ask for help, and that's okay. You know, one of the superpowers we could have, just like Moses had, is meekness or humility. You know, God has given us so many different things to do and so many things to follow. It's kind of hard sometimes to pay attention to them. But you know what? God expects us to listen. God also asks us if we're willing to humble ourselves before Him, that He can show us the right way. And friends, that is truly a superpower unlike anything that you've ever seen. You know what? A lot of people, when they see rules, maybe in a classroom or in church, they don't want to listen to the rules. As a matter of fact, they just want to talk and talk when the preacher's preaching. They just want to talk and pass notes while the teacher's teaching. And no matter what's said, they just don't want to pay attention. You know, one of the ways that you can be humble where you are is simply show respect towards others and use the listening ear. You know, it's really hard, besides listening to a preacher or to a teacher, it's really hard to listen to God and see what God wants for us if we're not willing to be humble. Friends, I challenge you today, work on your humility powers, and God will truly be happy with you. Now that's all the time we have today. Let's go sing a song with our friend Paul and work on our memory work, and I'll see you next time. Let's go. Sing Christian songs with Paul. Thanks, E.T. Hey, kids, would you like to sing another Christian song? How about Humble Yourselves? Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. And He will lift you up. And He will lift you up. 
Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. That saved a wretch like me. So humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up, and He will lift you up. Great job, kids. We'll see you next time. Hey there, friends. Today we're going to write our memory work together. Maybe you can't really say it very well and you can't really sing it very well. Maybe writing is your way to best learn God's Word. So we're going to write our verse out together. If you need your Bible, use your Bible as you write along. I think I might know it enough to not even use my Bible. Friends, if you can't do that yet, that's okay. Use your Bible as you write the verse out. Now today, I'm going to use the color magenta. So our verse comes from Ephesians, E-P-H-E-S-I-A-N-S, -E -S, chapter 3, verses 20 through 21. Now, who is able to do, this might be a little fast for you, exceedingly, I hope I spelled this right, comma, Abundantly, comma, above all that we ask or think. Again, I might be going really fast. That works in us now. If you want to write the twenty-first verse, then I'll write twenty up here. That way, it helps you remember. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus. Now, friends, you might still be writing, and that's okay. I went a little fast. But if writing God's Word is the best way for you to learn the Bible, go ahead and write out as many of God's verses from the Bible as you possibly can. And slowly over time, you'll get better and better and better. Now, that's all the time we have today, friends. Let's go answer our really big question for today, and I'll see you next time. Are you ready for the answer for today's really big question? Our question today is, who was the meekest man to ever live? Was it Solomon? 
Saul, Jonah, or Moses. Let's get rid of these two. If you guessed Moses, you're absolutely right. Fantastic job listening, friends. Thanks for being with me, and we'll see you next time. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 let's sing Jesus, and every day children's way.